Sportster, that's a girl's bike. <laughs> or is it? What's up, riders? Old Man Ronin here. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're on a girl's bike. And this time I really mean it. <laughs> this happens to be Iron Lady's uh, Iron 883. That uh, it's basically her uh, her first her owned motorcycle. She used to ride the CB650 that we had uh, years ago. I know, right, a Honda. But uh, this is her bike, and I do like to ride it occasionally. She doesn't really like to ride and film herself. She would much rather ride with me and film because, you know, she's a fairly new rider. She's only been riding a few years, and uh, she wants to concentrate on the road, which I really recommend people, if you're just a new rider, uh, maybe not do the uh, YouTube stuff until you've got a lot of experience in there because uh, it was quite distracting. <laughs> but uh, what I want to get at today is talk to you a little bit about sportsters in general. Like I said, we've got uh, three of them in the family. We've got Iron Ladies, obviously the newest one, the uh, 880, Iron 883. Uh, we've got my 1200 Sportster Custom that uh, we've turned into a 1250. And we've got M's uh, 883 Super Low. Uh, but I've had Sportsters my entire life. And uh, I really do love these motorcycles. Uh, I always hear people say, well, they're not big enough to do this, they're not big enough to do that. We're gonna go through a story here in a little bit about my first really big trip ever in my life and what motorcycle it was on. You wanna hear about it? Stay tuned. Yay! When I was 17 years old, I, uh, I was going through some pretty traumatic stuff, and I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of what was going on, but it kind of changed my entire perspective on life at that really young age. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the very first long trip that I made on a motorcycle. And that happened to be a 1966 XLCH Sportster. And what I mean by a long trip, well my uncle used to live, and he's passed away now, but my uncle used to live in Orlando, Florida. He uh, moved from Northeast Ohio where the rest of us were and uh, moved, down to, uh, moved down to Orlando because he was teaching diesel mechanics at a college down there. He's probably the guy that you'd want to sit next to an airplane because when he was in the Air Force, he, uh, during World War II, he actually was in, a, in three different accidents <laughs> for airplanes and survived every one of them. I always told him, I said, Uncle Chubb, uh, I want to sit next to you in any aircraft we go on because obviously that's the safest place to be. But uh, when I was going through these traumatic experiences, I wanted to go down and visit my uh, my uncle. And so I drove my 1966 XLCH, which was a 1,000cc motorcycle. Uh, I did change the tires because back in those days, uh, I had... Uh, I bought the bike when I was 14. It was kind of tore up. It was wrecked. So what I did was I welded what the problems were on the frame and then uh, fixed the engine up, put knobby tires on it. But then for this particular trip, I went to more of a stock tire, bought some used ones. I've never been the kind of guy to spend a lot of money, <laughs> if you can't tell. And I rode down to Orlando, Florida from uh, Northeast Ohio. And where I lived in Northeast Ohio was just south of Canton, uh, south of Canton and south of Maslin. And right on the Tuscarawas County, Stark County line. So what I did was I rode down there to visit him and I thought, you know what? It was an exciting trip. It took me a couple days. I wasn't really in a big hurry and had a really good time. Well, I was getting tired of uh, being in Florida. I know, right? So I decided to take another trip out to see some other family that was in California. So what I did is I took, a, uh, took the uh, old XLCH and I rode over to Santa Barbara County which is north of Los Angeles there, to visit some family that were living there. And uh, had a really good time out there, and lo and behold, I decided, well, I got a buddy that uh, was a few years older than me that was in the Air Force, and he lived uh, in Anchorage, Alaska. And so I said, why not? I'm on the West Coast anyways. I rode that 1,000cc uh, engine all the way up to Anchorage, Alaska, through Canada and into Anchorage and uh, really had a good time with it. I've seen it really a lot of exciting things. It changed the oil along the way several different times. Check my tires. I did not change my tires, which I, when I got home, because <laughs> I rode from Anchorage back to uh, Northeast Ohio. And when I got home, they were kind of wore out. <laughs> 
So I uh, changed back to my knobbies and rode the bike until I blew it up. And I'm not saying that that's the reason it blew up. That's not it at all. I blew it up because I was really hard on it. But that was my very first street style motorcycle. It was a Harley Davidson Sportster XLCH. And you're seeing the pictures I put on uh, at different places here. And I'll tell you what, I loved that bike. And it made me decide that Sportsters, man, were the best motorcycle in the world at that particular point in time. I didn't have any of the big engines yet, but I had the 1,000cc. And back in those days, you know, a 1,200 was a huge engine. Now today, people poo-poo on it. And I, uh, I get kind of a... I don't want to say an attitude about guys who say, well, the Sportster's a small bike. It, you know, it is a small framed bike, uh, much like the Meteor 350 and much like some of the other Royal Enfields. Uh, it is a small bike, but it, man, you can make it anything you want it to be. Uh, like this bike right here, I would have no problem whatsoever riding this bike down to Florida. In fact, I'd like to do it someday, but first I want to take the Royal Enfield and uh, I, uh, I think that would be a really, really fun trip. I'm not sure how much, I just got this new uh, camera thing here because I'm going on a trip down to Savannah, Georgia here next month and I wanted to see how this was going to work and it's got a little bit of vibration you're seeing from this camera. We'll have to see how she works when I get back and start editing. I don't know if I'll include that or not, but if I do, I do. But as far as this motorcycle being a motorcycle that's capable of going anywhere, it truly is, and like I said, I get kind of an attitude about guys who say that, uh, oh, they're too small, or they'll never do this, they'll never do that. Man, I've ridden all over this country on small bikes, and I've ridden them all over this country on big bikes. And you know what the difference is? Absolutely nothing. If you know how to ride, and if you know how to pack your stuff, you can be comfortable on pretty much any motorcycle that you ride. We're going to stop over here at one of my favorite little places because uh, this guy gets me the beer that I want. So let's go on in and say hey. There he is. Got a question for you. Uh, can you get blats in bottles? Because I see them. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to. Because I, I love blat, but man, I hate cans. And uh, since I can't get Rolling Rock now. Yeah, if you want, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I always like going and visit those guys because they always get me the beer that I want. And, uh, you know, I do like the uh, the old stuff. I know. Go figure, right? I'll turn this back on. Give me a beep. <laughs> and, and a go. Well, as I was saying, after visiting Glen's Marcadero to get me some blats in bottles, hopefully, I don't know if I can get them or not, but... Uh, I really do love Sportsters, and I will always have at least one in the old stable. Uh, I, I, I just think that they're fun motorcycles. Uh, I hope they never really get rid of the Iron 883 style or the XL versions, which is what the, uh, the custom is right now, the 1200. Uh, they've got this new one coming out that, uh, I'll just say it's not for me. <laughs> That's all I'll say, it's not for me. I like the fact that they're not killing the Sportster name, but I don't necessarily like the water-cooled engine. I guess it's a wave of the future. I am, I'm, I mean, this this Evo, which is what the, if you're looking at a 2022 Iron 883, it has the Evo engine in it. And I'll tell you what, this thing is bulletproof, man. It truly is. It is an awesome engine. Man, this bike is so much fun. So much low-end torque. I think that's one of the things that uh, really, really is similar with Harley Davidson and Royal Enfield is the fact that they they have that old technology with long stroke engines and uh, lots of torque, lots of low-end torque, and you know they're easy to work on. Speaking of which, what we've done to this motorcycle when we got it for uh, I bought it and then Iron Lady said she loved it and so uh, it became Iron Lady's bike. It's in her name. Um, 
she really does love the way that she, this bike looks and pretty much everything we've done to this bike has been what she's wanted to and uh, we've blacked it out a little bit in fact there's a video that we did where she was working on some stuff and you know she's uh you know she's not a uh she's not a mechanic and and be honest with you neither am i i'm just a garage guy uh i like to uh I'm not going to use the term shade tree mechanic because somebody else has that name. <laughs> but I do like to work on motorcycles. And uh, so I do like to do things my way. And so does Iron Lady. And so what? when she got the bike, she said, I want to black it out a little bit more. We tried underslinging the... Uh, the uh, mirrors and she didn't like the way that looked uh, we were going to do a tank lift and she decided she didn't like the way that looked so basically we did a stage one upgrade on the motorcycle which includes a upgraded uh, uh, air system uh, with a screaming eagle you see that uh, in some of the pictures that I'll be showing you here also we did a Vance and Hines uh, short shots on it uh, which gives us that great note that you're hearing and then of course we did the uh, we did the fuel pack 3 tuner on it which is a fantastic tuner for these uh, sportsters and I have one on my uh, 1200 or 1250 as well too I say 1250 it's really a 1200 if you look at the title it says XLCH excuse me <laughs> it says XL 1200 C and so it's not really a uh, it's not really a 1250 according to the title but it is according to the engine and we used the hammer upgrade for that Man, it's so beautiful out here again today. Early morning, it's like 36 degrees. It's supposed to be a high of 70. I'll put the uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius up in the corner there, but uh, this bike just runs so good. It's great on these back roads. Um, it's not a gravel king, but uh, I have taken it on gravel. I'm not gonna do that today because this is Iron Lady's bike, but it is a really handles well. And uh, I, uh, I really, really enjoy this motorcycle. It's uh, I, there's part of me that really wishes I wouldn't have given it to her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, you know, I do have access to ride it anytime I want. But there'd be a few things that we want to change on it. One of the things that we did uh, right away as far as for uh, uh, hauling stuff is we put a, uh, a gas box sissy bar from Lowbrow Customs on the back end. And then uh, there's also a Mustang bib that we put on it as well, too. And the reason we did that is that way she can put our Kemimoto 50-liter uh, bag on the back in case she's going to do any long-distance touring with it, or if I decide to take it on a long-distance tour. Well, what a beautiful day we got, guys. It really, really is. I just, uh, again, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is not only to ride uh, uh, Iron Lady's motorcycle here a little bit, but also talk to you a little bit about how much I really, truly do love motorcycling in general, and especially how much sportsters mean to me. They, uh, They've been with me since I started riding, like I said, street legal motorcycles. I mean, before that I had other dirt bikes and stuff, but uh, uh, Sportsters really do hold a special place in my heart, and uh, they will always be part of me, like Royal Enfield is now. Royal Enfield from now on will be part of me. Ah, oh, there's some turkeys. <laughs> Man, I wish I'd have hooked a 360 up on that, but I was trying to do something really quick. I got a lot of stuff going on today, getting prepared for service this week. When you see this video, it'll be Wednesday, and uh, what you'll see is that right there. Did you notice that? That's right, guys. It's time for the Airmoto giveaway. And what we're doing, we're giving away Airmoto smart air pumps. And if you're a subscriber and you comment below and tell me what time you saw a little Ronin run by there, uh, you'll be in the running to win one of our Airmoto smart air pumps. And I'll tell you, we're, we've given away two of them already, and this is... Uh, we're going to give away a total of four, and we're really excited about it. Uh, Airmoto's been good to me. I've been running the things for about a year, a little over a year, and I really, truly do love the way that they work. Uh, I did buy the, uh, the initial one that I got, but the ones that we've got now, we're giving away to you guys, and we really do appreciate each and every one of you, and this is how we give back. When we get stuff like that, we're going to give it to you, and so we've had two winners, and uh, we're looking for our third one, so between now and the end of March, we're giving away Airmoto Smart Air Pumps. Send me an email too, guys. The third thing you have to do, subscribe, comment below, and send me an email to oldmanronan at gmail.com. I'm going to take a minute to thank one of our subscribers. and what I, I want to call him a super fan. Uh, him and his wife, Megan. Chad and Megan Zimmerman. Uh, they really are big, huge supporters of the channel, 
and uh, they gave us a tremendous super thanks the other day and if you see if you don't know what a super thanks is if you're looking at the screen on a PC or your phone you'll see a little dollar sign that says thanks and he donated a uh, a really nice super thanks to us and I want to give a special shout out to him uh, I made him my subscriber shout out him and his wife uh, and we want to also give a special thank you to that as well too because I tell you what I can't do this without you guys and it really means a lot to me so if you get a chance thank Chad in the comments for helping the channel out so much well I really hope you enjoyed this video today guys if you did make sure you give us a big thumbs up Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button, share and comment. You know, I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.